Okay, one thing you have to know when traveling overseas is the difference between an adapter and a converter. I messed this up big time the first time I traveled. My cheese straightener caught on fire, there was smoke, my hair stuck up straight for a week, it was a disaster. Okay, so let me show you. An adapter is simple. This is a US plug. This, however, we're in Ireland, this is the shape of a plug here. Obviously, this outlet will not fit this plug. An adapter simply changes the shape for you. Here's an adapter that I have. <clears throat> it actually works for several different countries. I switch it to the Ireland setting, plug it in, and then I can plug my device into this outlet. So an adapter helps adapt the shape from one plug to an electrical outlet. There's a second thing you have to watch out for though, and that's conversion. A converter is a little bit different. It actually changes the wattage or the voltage of an electrical appliance. Now, if you look at this, this is a Travel Smart hair dryer that I bought specifically for traveling. If you bring an electric device overseas, you need to make sure the voltage setting will work for overseas. Now, anything like an iPhone, that should automatically work and be compatible. Several things, though, like the straightener I was talking about earlier, did not work at all. In the U.S., we run things on 120, 125. And over here it's 250. So you're pumping like twice the amount of electricity into your, into your hair straightener or whatever device it is. That could be a mess. So if you look at this, this one has a 250 setting. Plug it in. Put it in the 250 setting. It looks great. Now this travel dryer actually has the option to put it on an American setting as well. Let's see what happens when we do that. And so I have it plugged in but I have it on the 125 voltage, which is uh, what we use in America. So let's see what happens if we run it on American voltage. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I just blew my hair dryer. That's great. So um, my hair will be drying naturally for this trip, apparently. That's fantastic. And it's actually smoking. I don't know if you can see that. So that's what happens when you have an adapter, but you don't have it on the right settings, or you don't have a converter when you need it. So here's what you do. You check and make sure that your electronic device uh, will work overseas. It's compatible. You can read on the device the voltage range it will work for. Make sure it will work overseas. If it doesn't, you need to buy a converter similar to this uh, that will plug into the wall and change the voltage settings for you. That's fantastic. I just fried it.